you know, our, our best players made plays when it counted. Braden got fouled. Caleb came up with a huge defensive stop. Mario got the huge rebound off the missed free throw. So, you know, good teams find a way to win even when they don't play well. I thought we were a little stagnant. We didn't play as well as I thought we were capable of. We didn't guard very well tonight. Uh, but we found a way to get it done. And that's, you know, what mark of a good team in my eyes is you can find ways to get the job done even when you don't play your best. Yeah, we, we did a little bit more switching in the second half, trying to take away the threes, uh, trying to force it inside and, and play with our bigs. They got a couple good looks, I thought, inside as well, second half, but the key was they didn't make those same threes, and we got to the free throw line and we converted. You know, he stepped up inside. He was our go-to guy, you know, and, and like we've talked about all along, one night it's Braden, one night it's him. So it's nice to have option 1A, 1B, and one of them's 1A one night, and the next night it's 1B. But you look at down the stretch, it was Braden getting to the line and Caleb getting those buckets inside. So um, I, I told him, you know, great job getting it done. You know, it, it doesn't matter if you lead the whole game or not, as long as you're up when the, the final horn goes off. Um, but I talked about, too, I felt like our urgency and our intensity wasn't where it needed to be as now a top 10, 15 team you're gonna get everyone's best shot. So you have to come out with another level of effort and intensity, knowing you're gonna get that from your opponent. And I didn't think we had that for the full 40 minutes. So that's an adjustment for us learning how to play, you know, with that number in front of our name. I mean, it was great for experience down the line, especially late in March where we wanna be at. Not every game is gonna be a 10 point win, five point win. There's gonna to be tough games where you gotta make plays and you gotta execute down the stretch. And that's the biggest thing about college basketball. Whoever out executes will win. So I think it's, Obviously, you want to win by 20, 10, you want uh, pretty big wins, but I think it's good learning how to play with the lead, playing down, executing down the stretch. Like I said earlier, that's going to be huge as teams are getting better late in March to win games, so it's fun. I mean, I really give it all to coach. He puts us in situations in practice. We do a lot of uh, down three situations. We do a lot of situations like these. Like, we go to the huddle, no one's flustered, everyone's Everyone tell each other we've been in a situation like this before. We've done this before, and this group is just really relentless. There's no quitting this group. Like I said, going down three in the huddle, I didn't see anyone drop their head. No one was mad. No one was yelling at each other. We were all said we got this. Let's stick together, and we got it done. Um, I think Coach I mean, coach went in there and kind of ripped us a new one. And um, I mean, we were just tired of it. Like, that was on a scout, and we weren't executing in the first half, playing lazy, like he said. We didn't come out with the urgency we needed. And like he said, being a top 15 team with that target on your back, we got to learn how to play with that. And team's going to give us their best shot every night. So we really just looked at each other and said, it's not going to happen like this no more. And we came out, closed out better on shooters, and made other people score. I feel like it's a good, good experience for us. Uh, I feel like we're learning a lot about just how to finish games. That's a big area of improvement and what we worked on a lot this preseason and just throughout the season is just trying to learn how to finish games. And I feel like we've grown a lot from last year to this year and just learning how to win and learn how to pull them out. You know, they played a great game, so we got to give it to them. Yeah, I mean, I was like, I, I think we were down what? One, three? OK, yeah, we were down three. three. Yeah. yeah, so I was like, I just got to go find a way to get this rebound. He kind of came on my high side, and KJ just kind of it took a lucky bounce to me and just got the opportunity to put it back. So, yeah, he's, he's just a clutch player. You know, he has it in his veins. He makes big plays for us down the stretch. And I'm just super proud of the way that, you know, he, he and the team responded because um, we could have easily let this one slip, but we found a way to win, and he's a big part of that, absolutely. Definitely. I mean, Coach, uh, he put up in the locker room, he has road runners, and then it's like a target behind it. So it's kind of like been our mentality, understanding that now we are ranked, we're kind of getting the recognition that we deserve, um, understanding that everyone's going to come out here and give us their best shot every night, and we just got to play with, uh, you know, 40 minutes of road runner basketball. And when we do, it's, shoot, it's tough to beat. So.